Imagine for a second that you are looking at a giant, magnificent Lego castle. From where you are sitting, it looks completely solid. It looks like one unshakable, heavy object. If you ran your hand across it, it would feel smooth and cold. If you dropped it, it would make a loud thud. For most of our lives, we have been taught that the world is exactly like that castle. Solid, fixed, and difficult to change. We are told that if we want to move a wall, we have to use physical force. But now, imagine I give you a magical magnifying glass. As you look through it, the castle begins to change. As you zoom in, the castle disappears and you see thousands of individual bricks. Zoom in further, and the bricks disappear. You start to see tiny, buzzing dots of light. These dots are moving so fast they look like a blur, like a swarm of bees protecting a hive. This is the quantum world. It is the basement of our reality. For hundreds of years, scientists thought the world worked like a giant clock. They thought that if you knew where the gears were, you could predict everything. They thought the world was classical, predictable, solid, and frankly, a bit boring. But then, about a hundred years ago, we peeked into the basement and realized the clock was actually made of magic. Quantum physics tells us that the world is more like a giant, shimmering soup of possibility. Everything you see, your morning coffee, the car you drive, the person you see in the mirror, is made of this soup. And here is the secret that changes everything. The soup reacts to you. It isn't just sitting there. It is waiting for instructions. Today, we are going to learn the laws of this magical soup. We are going to explain every quantum law of reality so simply that a five-year-old could understand it, but so powerfully that it will allow you to finally take the steering wheel of your life. Law 1, the movie projector, the observer effect. Let's talk about the movie projector rule. This is perhaps the most famous and mind-bending discovery in the history of science. It's called the observer effect. Imagine you are sitting in a dark, plush movie theater. On the giant screen in front of you, a movie is playing. Let's say the movie is a bit of a tragedy. The main character is struggling, they are tired, and they feel like the world is against them. Now, if you wanted to change that movie, what would you do? Most people in the real world get up out of their seats, run down to the screen, and try to scratch the image off. They try to paint a smile on the character's face. They yell at the screen, demanding that the scenery change. But you know that's a waste of time. The movie isn't in the screen. The screen is just a blank piece of fabric. The movie is coming from the projector booth high up behind your head. In a famous experiment called the double slit experiment, scientists discovered that tiny particles of matter behave differently when they are being watched. When no one is looking, these particles act like waves. They are everywhere at once, like a ripple in a pond. They are just a ghost-like possibility of a thing. But the moment a scientist points a camera at them or looks at them, they pop. They stop being a wave and they become a solid little ball in one specific spot. Your consciousness is the camera. This means that the quantum soup stays as a wave of infinite possibilities until you look at it. Your expectations, your deep-seated fears, and your daily assumptions are the film strips running through your projector. If your film strip is labeled, I am always overlooked at work, the quantum soup has no choice but to pop into a solid reality that matches that film. For the 40-plus professional, this is a revelation. It means that the stressful environment you walk into every morning isn't actually solid until you observe it. If you walk in expecting the same old problems, you are locking the particles into that old, tired shape. Manifestation is the act of going into the projector booth, taking out the old, dusty film of how things have always been, and sliding in a new, bright film of how things could be. The screen, the physical world, must follow the light of the projector. Law 2, the soup of possibilities, superposition. Now, let's go deeper into the soup of possibilities. Scientists have a fancy word for this, superposition. Imagine a giant kitchen with a massive pot of soup on the stove. Inside this soup, every ingredient you could ever imagine is already floating around. There are carrots, there are diamonds, there are new career paths, there are healthy cells, and there are wonderful surprises. In the quantum world, everything exists in a state of both slash and. It's like a spinning coin on a table. While the coin is spinning, is it heads or is it tails? The answer is 
it's both. As long as it's spinning, it is a blur of both possibilities. It only becomes heads or tails the moment you put your hand down and stop the spin. Your life right now is a spinning coin. In the quantum soup of your future, there is a version of you that is incredibly successful and vibrant. There is also a version that is struggling and stuck. According to the law of superposition, both of these versions exist right now as waves. They are both equally real possibilities waiting for someone to stop the spin. Why do we keep getting the struggling version? Because of our mental habits. Every morning, we wake up and we stop the spin by thinking the exact same thoughts we had yesterday. We say, my back hurts, or I have so many bills, and pop, the coin stops on the struggle side. We do this so often that we forget the coin was ever spinning in the first place. The quantum secret is to realize that this successful you isn't something you have to go out and build from scratch. You don't have to go to a different kitchen to find different ingredients. The success is already in the soup. It's already in the room with you. Your job isn't to create it. Your job is to use your observer power to choose that specific version of the coin. You do this by feeling the version you want before the coin even stops spinning. Law 3, the invisible string, quantum entanglement. Have you ever thought about an old friend you haven't spoken to in years? Someone who hasn't crossed your mind in a decade, and suddenly your phone buzzes with a text from them? Or have you ever walked into a room and felt a heavy vibe before anyone even spoke? Most people call this a coincidence or a gut feeling. Quantum physicists call it entanglement, and it is the law of the invisible string. Imagine two tiny bells. In the quantum world, if these two bells are brought together once and then moved to opposite sides of the universe, they stay connected by an invisible, unbreakable string. If you ring the bell in New York, the bell in London will ring at the exact same microsecond. There is no delay. They don't send a signal through the air. They simply know what the other is doing because at a deeper level, they are still one. Now, let's apply this to your life. Science tells us that at the very beginning of time, the Big Bang, everything in the entire universe was squeezed into a single tiny dot. Every atom in your body, every gold coin in a bank vault, and every person you will ever meet were all touching. This means that everything is already entangled. You are not a lonely island in a big, empty ocean. You are a knot in a giant, invisible cosmic net. When you move, the whole net moves. This is the secret behind synchronicity. When you begin to change your internal vibration, when you start ringing your internal bell with the sound of confidence or peace, you are literally pulling on the strings that are attached to the opportunities, people, and resources that match that sound. For the person over 40, this is incredibly hopeful. It means you don't have to hunt for your dreams like a predator chasing prey. You aren't separate from the health you want or the success you desire. They are already on the other end of your string. Your only job is to stop vibrating the string with fear or lack, which keeps those things at a distance. When you vibrate with the feeling of already having it, the law of entanglement begins to pull that reality toward you through the invisible net of the universe. Law 4 and 5, the magic choice and the echo hallway. Finally, we come to the most practical part of quantum reality, quantum tunneling or what I like to call the echo hallway. In our everyday world, if you walk up to a solid brick wall and try to walk through it, you're going to get a bruise. The wall is solid and you are solid. But in the quantum basement, nothing is 100% solid. Everything is a probability. Quantum tunneling is a phenomenon where a particle can actually pass through a barrier that should be impossible to cross. It tunnels through the wall as if it weren't there. In your life, walls are the things that look like dead ends. Maybe it's a debt that feels too big to pay, a health diagnosis that feels final, or a career ceiling that feels made of concrete. To your logical mind, these are solid walls. But the quantum law says that no wall is ever 100% solid. There is always a mathematical probability that a way through exists. The tunnel opens when you stop treating the wall like it's the only thing in the room. This is the magic choice. Most people spend all their energy staring at the wall measuring the wall and complaining about the wall. By doing this, they are using their observer power to make the wall even more solid. To tunnel through, you have to shift your focus to the space beyond the wall. You have to walk down the echo hallway. 
Imagine your thoughts are sounds you shout into a long hallway. If you shout, I'm stuck, the hallway echoes back, stuck, stuck, stuck. But if you shout, a way is opening, the quantum hallway begins to echo that back to you. Eventually, the echo becomes so loud that the particles of your reality begin to rearrange themselves. The wall hasn't moved, you simply shifted into a version of reality where a door appeared. You are the magician. So, we have the Lego bricks, the movie projector, the soup of possibilities, the invisible strings, and the tunnels through the walls. If you are 40, 50, or 60 years old, you have spent decades believing that the world is a hard, heavy place that requires you to push and shove to get what you want. But the science of the very small tells us a different story. It tells us that you are the master observer. You are the one holding the projector and the magic camera. The world is not made of stone. It is made of light, and light is easy to change. You don't need to learn a thousand complex formulas to change your life. You just need to remember these simple rules. Wake up tomorrow and ask yourself, what movie am I putting in the projector today? Which version of the coin am I going to choose to stop? Which string am I going to pull? The quantum soup is sitting right there on the stove, waiting for your instructions. It has been waiting your entire life. It doesn't care about your past. It only cares about what you are observing right now. Go out today and be the magician you were always meant to be. The universe is ready to pop into greatness for you.